together. All right, well, we'll see. I mean, both of these characters are very different from their Smash 4 counterparts, so we're gonna have to see how this goes down. I don't have too much faith in Captain Falcon myself, but people have proven me wrong in the past all the time. Fatality of Civil War, for example. So let's see how this goes down. Oh yeah, meta evolves every day. And you know, I actually don't hate this because I think uh, even though Captain Falcon becomes juggle food with ease by Zero Suit Samus, uh, we have the speed to match up with uh, whatever uh, Zero Suit Samus is trying to pull off. Oh, okay. I don't think that was a Captain Falcon thing. That was just a good J move play. Uh, so there, there were a couple of things. One of the big things in Captain Falcon in this game, he doesn't maintain his uh, dash momentum when he gets a down throw on his opponent. He just stops in his tracks right there and he can't get a follow-up afterwards. So he tried to do the Smash 4 thing where he gets a down throw follow-up into an air, but he overextended himself because that wasn't a true combo and that allowed Jakamu to be able to get that down B into an early kill against his opponent. Oh, look at this. Okay, good dash attack. That was kind of a, an overzealous down air. Okay, but not an overzealous forward air. Yeah, getting that knee. Yep. Falling neutral air one is basically the new uh, falling up air that Captain Falcon had. It's a great setup tool. On the flip side, it is kind of linear just because Falcon has very few ways to be able to mix up the timing on that. So you can get very easy parries as you see Jacombo's doing very well here. Yeah, but that speed Captain Falcon is going to make it a little hard to recognize even though the linearity of that, uh, of that particular type of tactic. Grab okay. a jab, roll through. No, just gonna yep. be able to wait for the finisher, actually. Oh, there it is. Okay, okay. nice wait. <laughs> able to get a down throw, not much else, though. I feel like Captain Falcon in this game, you really wanna go for, like, dares. And you basically wanna play, like, for what I was talking about this with Venom, uh, who's, a, who's the top PM Falcon, is that you kinda wanna play him like PM Falcon. You gotta get those tech chases, you gotta get those follow ups from, like, dare knee or, like, neutral air knee and stuff like that. That was a really well angled forward tip. Yeah, and uh, Captain Falcon is a great whip punisher. He has crazy long dancer's legs. Oh, nice trade. That worked out wonderfully for LFC. Okay, guess that forward air continues on with the pressure. I think he tried to turn around that down smash. Didn't quite work out though, but the side B still gonna be able to kill actually. Jacomo in a really nice place to try and continue on the set. Oh, uh, that might have killed if uh, he had been successful with that down smash. Oh, uh, getting tossed around like a ragdoll right now. Yeah, unfortunate. Okay, making it back. Ooh, trying to, you know, uh, Captain Falcon's up B kills a lot earlier this time around, so we kind of have some neat little 50-50s. 50-50s uh, we nonetheless had four, but just, they're much more potent now because they can kill you so early. I think it would yeah. kill it around. Yeah, the, the grab box is a lot bigger on the startup of it rather than the end. So he's trying to catch like a neutral getup in the shield, but it's not quite working because Nakama's pretty much been jumping every time because he has a very strong return to neutral option like that kick flip. He's gonna go in the air basically every time. It's hard to intercept that. Oh, oh gonna yeah. get the back throw. Oh! Ah! Yep, that is exactly what ZSS wants you to do. It's like, okay, I'm gonna pressure you with this kick. I'm not gonna commit to the last hit, and I'm gonna go and get a down air instead, and that works out beautifully for him. Yeah, got a nice shot of the shorts in that kill cam, so uh, I'm not complaining. <laughs> All right, moving on. It's going back to the exact same stage. I wouldn't be surprised if Leaf completely changed his character to something else because kind of got blown up there, but maybe he sees something in Captain Falcon that he did in the earlier game, and we're gonna have to see how this goes down. Because I'm still, I'm still of the mind that Captain Falcon can be a character. I don't, it's like from what I can see, uh, we still have good combos, we still have good whip punishing. I, we lost some grab combos, rip, but I still think Captain Falcon's got the potential. He's very much a download type of character. You really have to start recognizing your opponent's defensive options and habits after the first game, or potentially in the middle of the first game, depending on how quick you are at that. Oh, yeah. And we'll have to see how it goes afterwards. Gonna get that down throw. Actually gets a DI in that time around. But Jakama's still able to get a reversal after that first up air. Very condition heavy character, uh, Captain Falcon. You're right. Ooh, ooh, condition to get upbeat, and we're living because we are heavy. Nice pack air. Oh, really getting cheeky with these down airs as well. <laughs> that was clean. That yeah, was, that was unfortunate. It looked like it was minus on hit, so then he was able to get a landing there. Great reversal, actually, from Leaf, able to recognize that as soon as he got that there, he was able to follow up with the knee afterwards. So now he's actually going to take the stock. That's what? taking the stock. Yeah, and I will say, uh, despite all of the, the things that Captain Falcon does have in terms of speed and mobility, uh, we do have a lot of really good range with uh, Zero Suit Samus, and I think j is starting to get wise with the way that the LFC is starting to play here. 
Uh, try to get a check chase into the Nair. Not quite going to work out there. What's the option going to be? Tries to roll through, but he kind of got pushed back by the jab, rapid jab a little bit too much, so he got caught in the roll, even though he's trying to do the 11 hit roll, uh, roll tech. Shout out to Gamer for that one, by the way. <laughs> oh yeah, I did see that. That was a good video. <laughs> Dying in again on that down throw. Very interesting. Maybe he's just thinking, give him leave some false hope or something like that, or thinking that he could mix him up on DI, but he's just going to go for those up airs. Uh, it looks like he was trying to go for a cross up there, but he didn't quite get it. Cool. I like he didn't go for the grab there, he just went for the jab for the safest option out of shield. Right, fair. Tries to go for the Zare, but it barely missed Faces there. But he's still got the ledge control, another landing yeah. there. As soon as Dracombo gets a little bit too committal with how he tries to keep up with the ledge or to control, Leaf is just able to reverse it back immediately with the landing there, because there's enough time for him to be able to set that up. Well, yeah, that's true. Especially when you consider something like getting grabbed by Captain Falcon, you're able to control the way that the DI, especially uh, when you have something like me, or you can just start throwing it yeah, It is safe on hit on shield, actually, to feel your bounce back uh, in the position. Ooh, okay, there's that Nair. What are we going to see here? Okay, Demu doing a really good job of keeping himself safe. Oh, now we're going to see his air from Jay Moon. Just something to keep himself uh, away from Captain Falcon using his range to his advantage. Okay. Able to escape out of that combo pressure. And again, he's throwing out the plasma whip, and that gave Leap another opportunity to really go for that landing neutral air. Not quite going to see it that time around. And now he's able to reverse back with a couple cents. Now he's just trying to figure out his way back into the neutral, but it does not work. The Zair just goes right through. Oh, the forward air had crazy implications. He was able to get a nice little position there. Ooh, okay, not getting the full knee. Scatches him in the air before you can land. Oh, tech. Oh, again. Oh, and he, what? Um, okay. Looks like he DI'd into the stage, so that's going to be just fine for him, actually. Survives just fine. Okay, punish time. Not quite. Yeah, he tried to go for the cheeky uh, Bryce into the grab box to be able to get the kill, but he's still going to get the control with the back air instead. Yeah, man. That's paced. I like it. I think Leaf at that time just presented fewer opportunities for him to get edge guarded. Granted, I don't know if that dare was planned or if he got lucky and just ended up on the other side or what happened there, but that's going to work out for him. He didn't die to that. That could have potentially been the game, but now because of that, we're going to go on to game three instead. It might have been the little telegraph because of the way that Zero Samus took the first game and then he tried taking it again. Like, he did it twice and within a span of five seconds, so I don't see why he was trying to do that. All right, looks like we're going back to PS2, right? That's what it looks like, yeah. Is my short-term memory completely shot? Let's find out. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. Oh, I don't... I forget that the stage selection is at the beginning now instead of the end. Wow, great upbeat actually to get out of that forward boxing too. situation. Yeah. Okay, dash attack. Oh. That was very smart that time around. He was recognizing that he kept going for the kickflip to return back to neutral. So he went for something really big there. But doesn't quite get the right follow up on that Nair. Not to be able to follow up with that down B. So Nair to, Nair to down B looks like a real thing. Oh yeah, it's, it's been a thing since uh, since match four, obviously. So, so managed to stay around. Oh, I thought we were gonna catch him for sure with that down B, but you know what? Hey, or down smash. My apologies. Yeah, this is one of those things where he thought he was safe, so he went back for the roll, but he's still actually able to catch up with that down B afterwards. Okay. And you know, Jamie seems to be getting away uh, with these uh, these recoveries pretty well. I mean, he's, he's going to get blown up a couple of certain times. Gentleman almost killing there because he kind of got called out on the high down bees a couple of times. But this time he's mixing up. Goes for the rising fair instead. Recognizing he's pressing buttons, trying to catch up and catches the jump right there. Jakamu going to be able to continue his lead here. Yeah, and I think this is the part where he starts the second he gets into uh, neutral and stuff getting kicked around. He's going to start using that range to his advantage. Oh, almost got caught with the up B. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from, uh, from lead here. And he's not letting uh, he's not letting Jay Moon get back. Yep, exactly. I'm not gonna let you get extra credit on me. He was getting aggressive with his edge guards earlier in the set, so Jakam was kind of backing on that he would continue on with that, but he didn't. And then he whipped that, and that was punishable. He's able to get the stock before the lead get a little bit too scary. The 
is some good evasion from Leaf as well. Like, I'm, I'm noticing how he's able to get away from the, one of the few real huge advantages that I see uh, Zero Suit have, which is that ring. Okay, oh, all those up. The ledge trapping from Falcon still pretty reasonable in this game. You can have that speed to be able to keep up with a lot of characters. Yeah, you can up B to catch rolls. Yeah, you got some pretty nice stuff in this kit still. Oh, ooh, big get-up attack, but he doesn't punish with anything, actually. Just repositions himself, and he's still able to keep up the control. Gets that dare, not able to follow up with anything else. The air dodge comes out just in time, but he gets second hit up there and puts him off stage one more time. Yeah, that was a good air dodge. I don't know if that up air would have killed up, yeah, up, you know, up top, but uh, still a pretty bad position to be in, regardless. Ooh, speaking of bad positions, yeah. That back air, showing that backhand. Okay. Neither of these characters are out of the woods yet. Chikamo still has a lot of scary stuff that he can do, but he's trying to find these edge guards, but again, Leaf is doing a good job mixing up his re limited recovery that he has with Captain Falcon. Ooh, really delaying that down B, making it work. Not getting the kill, but uh, still having a really nice uh, position on the stage here. He's been trying to do that all day. All right, now all of a sudden it's completely even game. One big opening for Takamo could mean the entire set, but at the same time, Leap has a lot of different options like that knee. He's just getting able to continue in that there. Catches him in the air and is able to get that interception with the knee. JB Uno.